work to be done there. And in terms of our accruals, we've worked with the procurement department, accruals and prepaids, we work with the procurement department to get better and more um, supported numbers this year. And one of the things that I would highlight on is we've been able to successfully close our models on time. We're working to even make that even better so we can do monthly reporting. I know we are working on quarterly, but we're going to be doing monthly reporting pretty very soon. Um, general entries. Um, happy to say we're going green on that and successfully in implement, implemented that in our inventory group. Um, so we're going to roll that out to the other departments. Um, um, we have the inventory system which is currently in access and as a result of that we're able to turn around our inventory working papers in the month. I didn't try to pronounce that. <laughs> <laughs> and with Treasury, it's, it's currently a three-day turnaround in our wire processing and timely recordation of our OARs. And then in accounts payable, we're going to be working to enhance our, our processing and working with everybody that is basically affected with the payables and the um, AP system, Amex, those, just to make life easy for everybody, we're going to be, like Tracy said, I'll just borrow a word, in your face, just to try and understand <laughs> your pain points and then help you through it. And just a few updates. Um, with the 2010 close, um, I'm happy to say that I'm not going to accept any more entries. If you have any <laughs> entries for 2010, they will be on top entries. By that I mean they are not going to go in the books, we're going to keep them on a list, review, analyze, and make a determination whether we book them or not. So we're going to keep a laundry list of um, on top entries. Um, also, just for everybody to know, account <coughs> reconciliations, I know are in progress, but they need to be done and signed off by their respective uh, managers and supervisors by April 15th. And then we have a few exceptions here with, um, with the closest. Zambia is doing a cute a full review of their uh, financials, which will take a little bit longer. So their entries is going to go in the on top list. And then Ivory Coast, because of their um, issues in Ivory Coast, the civil war, um, we have some issues with their fixed assets. So that will also be on top. For 2011, um, the next big thing is um, our Q1 financials are due to the bank May 15th, but we, we are not supposed to wait till May 15th to have it ready. So everything should be done by April 30th and signed off so we can present that to management. Um, Tracy talked a little bit about policies and procedures. Um, the big items have already been communicated to the key groups and they are currently in review now and will be signed off. And then monthly reconciliations, you're going to be hearing more and more of that. Our goal is to have them done on a monthly basis so that at the year end we don't end up spending all night here. <laughs> That's it. Hello. I hope you can hear me. I don't project very well, so I hope I don't sound like I'm yelling. Um, uh, some of our highlights for 2011, I'm really not going to go back over 2010 because I think everyone has discussed that. And if I talk about 2010, it would be the 2009 audit, which I know no one wants to hear about. So I'm going to focus on 2011. In AR, we call it revenue in AR, accounts receivable by Steve Kaliag's group. Um, they have a place, they have put in place a process for identifying deposits over the last few weeks, and this is being managed by Darren. Darren, do you mind standing up, or are you here still? There he is. This is being managed by Darren in collaboration with the FAs and the Billing and Revenue Accountants, and they have made significant progress. I'll just mention about 2010, we were able to bring down the balance from about $240 million to $10 to $12 million for 2010. And that's really with the help of, again, as I mentioned, the Billing Revenue Accountants and our program group, the FAs. They've been very, very helpful. But for 2011, it's even better news. Each week, as Steve has Steve prepare this for me on this slide, and these are only deposits that normally he would send out and ask for help and ask people, can you help me identify where this goes? Um, this information for each of these weeks, we've been able to identify or significantly identify those cash receipts for uh, the summit to DC. And that's really tremendous progress that we've made in that area. So congratulations. <laughs> for, for 
further 2011 process improvements, Beth? I don't know if all of you have met Beth Crawford. Do you want to stand up, Beth? No? <laughs> Here's you. She is going to work with Steve and SunTrust on having them email wire details to the AIR group. Right now, they have to go online, and they don't get all the information that they could get from the bank um, about the payments that come in. But once they start getting, the, the bank will actually email them wires every time they get a wire with every piece of information they receive, we'll receive it. So that will help the process improve further. And then Beth and Steve are investigating the accounts receiving group playing a larger role in collections and <coughs> bringing money in here from the donors. So you'll hear more about that in the future. And then last, the AR aging schedule. I know a lot of people mm -hmm. look at the AR aging that comes out of Lawson as being unreliable. We're wor Steve's working with the Rafa consultant group to come up with a more reliable aging, and hopefully we'll have that done by the end of April 2011. So you'll have that, and I believe Steve meets with the program groups on AR collections, mm -hmm. and we'll be able to use that going forward. I didn't ask Ed how I'm supposed to forward this, but I'm going to assume it's the down arrow button. Okay. Next group is Billing and Revenue. That's under Rodrigo Escoto. And Tracy talked about the 2010 audit. And this year for the audit, we are um, preparing in advance. Last, for 2009, we, um, the auditors gave us their samples, and then we responded. This year, what we're trying to do to make sure that our data is valid and it's accurate is we selected our own samples. We selected 96 activity groups. And then we're doing for that, for those activity groups, what we did for the 2009 audit is supporting all that information, pulling documents, uh, reconciling the revenue, looking at our unbilled balances I referred to see um, if they're accurate and if they're valid, if we need to do some cleanup on them. So we call that, right now, we call that our phase one 2010 cleanup process. And we should have that completed by the end of April, before the end of April. Another reconciliation that we do each year, unfortunately, tends to be at the end of the year. We need to improve that, make it more often, but is the Deferred Program <coughs> Income Reconciliation. And that was done for 2010, and we saw some really big debit balances for, I don't, I'm sorry for those of you who don't understand what that means, but um, those are anomalies in a deferred liability account. You really should have a credit balance. And so we're going to focus on some of the bigger debit balances and seeing what they mean and if we have to write those off or clean those up, make some adjustments to those. And so if there's a debit balance there, for most of you, what that normally means is we've recognized more revenue than we brought in sales. So we have to look at that and see if that's valid or not. Again, we hope to get that done by or before the end of April 2011. And one of the processes, Kim mentioned this, uh, the surplus deficit review and meetings with the program group, with the county. So we take the each quarter, when we're looking at a quarterly, look at the surplus deficit report, try to do analysis ahead of time before we have the meetings, and then also meet with the groups to say, okay, this is what we see, what do you see? And then come out of there and make those adjustments as we see, as we need to. And then our phase two process improvement in 2011 is going to be led by our new billing and revenue manager, Marie Casaclanc. Is she here? Marie? Here she is. Marie was previously with the Lawson Group, and we were able to bring her into billing and revenue. We're very excited about that. And she's going to head up our um, how we can better utilize Lawson to make our processes more efficient. And then also documenting, working with Heidi to do in the group to document our policies and procedures. And then that will include a responsibility matrix. I know a couple people have talked about, you know, the, the confusion about who does what um, in different departments. So we hope to be able to provide you with a responsibility matrix on that in accounting. And then in addition, we're going to be implementing, Marie will head up with Steve and Rodrigo, implementing invoicing controls. Right now, 